guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode numero 11 of Pac-Man. And uh, as you can see, we're just shy of a 7,500 coin pack in this one. We're not quite there yet, so we're going to go into a couple of games. Hopefully try and pick up some points, because we haven't been able to pick up any points so far in this Division 8 season. Because, of course, we have had the previous troubles. So uh, we're going to come into this one with the Premier League-ish side, the one that we've been trying to build with the players we got from that mini-pack opening. We've got Adebayor in there, John Terry, a couple of other decent players players although the rest of them are kind of kind of bottom bottom end goal players like Wesley Houlihan etc Martin Kelly so we're going to try and pick up some points if we can against this uh, this Liga 1 side or French slash Liga 1 side and we get off to a decent start Adebayor a player that I didn't want on the uh, Tottenham career mode I shipped him out as soon as I possibly could actually plays very very well in this team so far you see he's going to put us 1-0 up here with a very very overpowered header no idea how he actually managed to get that to that this is post patch by the way and that is an absolutely dominating header over the defender he did just didn't stand a chance and uh, that is how we went in at half time holding a slim 1-0 lead against the bench warmers FC so uh, I was uh, actually pretty confident in this game we were playing some decent football and uh, we put together a really nice move here Gebhardt is going to get the ball at cut inside play a lovely through ball between two defenders to Fisa he's going to finish the move off very very well indeed just a few minutes after half time to give us a lovely 2-0 lead in the 53rd minute but Again, considering it's post-patch, I'm in control of the defender there. The ball gets above him, and for some reason, despite the fact that I'm still running with him, he decides to stop, look at the ball, and then carry on again. So uh, it does appear that through balls... Uh, that's a fantastic celebration, by the way, the swan dive. But uh, it does appear that through balls haven't been really affected at all by the, uh, by the patch. And again, another through ball, this time on the floor, is either extremely perfectly weighted or just OP and it wouldn't let my defender get anywhere near it for Cavani to get on the end of it to bring it back to 2-2 two, two and two quick fire goals really put us up against the wall but we had a chance to win it here with Gebhardt late on just what you've cut inside even though your two touches were awful just finish it and he isn't able to do so he blasts it high and wide of that far post so we do only take a point from that uh, first game but we've got a point five defeats and one draw now so we are on the way to staying up we uh, we need another seven points from the four games remaining that's two wins and a draw from a potential four seven points from a potential 12 so we come into the next game we're playing with the same team the premier league's based ish side and we come up against a very very strong premier league side a four two th or four three three rather the third variant of which with one holding midfielder and uh, the no, one central midfielder and two holding mids. So it's a, a weird 4-3-3 actually, but Adebayor shows great strength and it probably helped that he dived in with two players that didn't get anywhere near the ball because uh, Adebayor raced on, used the pace that he doesn't have to cut inside and then finished well by beating the goalkeeper to the ball to give us again a slim 1-0 lead at half-time against Derps. And uh, we were actually, unfortunately, going to get pegged back here he's going to put together a really nice move another look through ball across the floor Remy just gets nowhere near it uh, this touch is completely very I uh, don't know what he was doing with that completely odd touch but uh, unfortunately Jack Wilson is able to stab it home and it could just kind of lobs the goalkeeper half it's kind of a half lob and he just stabs it into the back of the net to bring it back to 1-1 but we were going to take the lead again Martin Kelly's going to push down this left hand side the cross is meant for Adebayor at the bottom of the screen there but uh, it's actually flicked on at the near post the goalkeeper makes a decent save but he's palmed it straight back to Adebayor and apparently that was a, uh, a worth a 25 to achievement for score with a dipping volley uh, I don't really see how that was a dipping volley he just kind of scuffed it and kicked it into the floor I guess it went down maybe from half you know half a foot six inches or so off the floor but we'll take it it's 25g and there, there's absolutely nothing I can do to stop that absolute wonder strike from Hatem Ben Arthur there to give him an equaliser and that's how this game finished so two games where Adabayor scored our goals although of course Fisa did score the second in the first game but Adebayo is definitely the player of the moment in this particular team. 487 coins pulled from that game. You can see we had so many chances. 16 shots, 10 on target. And unfortunately, the other goalkeeper was able to keep us out. But we're a step closer to salvation in at Division 8. We now need 6 points from the 3 games remaining. So 2 wins out of the three games it's doable even though we haven't won a game for a very very long time but uh, hopefully we can continue this decent-ish form and try and hold out defensively keep 
uh, enemy teams, enemy teams, opposition teams at bay, and uh, hold out for some three-point uh, hauls. But uh, I actually went for a five thousand coin pack rather than a seven and a half k pack because seven and a half k would have completely gutted me of all money. We don't have the biggest turnover of, of gold players at the minute. We need more players just in a numerical sense is in we need more bodies as opposed to quality of bodies so I went for a 5k pack just so we can keep the coin stack ticking over we get a couple of decent players a fast uh, Argentinian centre forward Morales and a, uh, a holding mid from the Bundesliga which will go very nicely into the Bundesliga team that we're building so uh, that is going to wrap this team this team that is going to wrap this episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link in the description and on screen on an annotation over the Pac-Man and if you did miss the previous episode where we had the mini pack opening then feel free to click on the pink ghost and there will be an annotation there take you to that video so that is going to wrap this one up so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time